Yeah, you do get the milestones faster. That's a good point about that. But rushing is so expensive. Sorry about the mishap, Joe. What are you talking about? I don't think there was a mishap, was there? American economic victory. I got a 1200 economic victory with them. Which is pretty good. That was the record for a long time. But the times we're getting lately are pretty sick. 400 with the French. Really? I always enjoy when you start and you can clearly see the wrong way to run. That's always a nice thing. I <laughs> know. Uh, I want to get a zero AD non-dom too. It's definitely possible. I think Chinese Americans, they can do it. Take a oh, by the way, did you guys know I put my cursor on one of these huts? Played Baba Yetu, and YouTube flagged it for a copyright warning. <laughs> I was like, what? You guys are psycho. Where are these gla Where are these clowns? Oh, there's the English. Yeah, Baba Yetu played from my bar pit, and it was like, copyright. I was like, wow, that's pretty serious, guys. Way to go. Okay, Romans are up there. And the Japanese to the east. <laughs> Damn, we got... I don't know where the fourth guy is. I definitely saw Romans. Clear as day right there. Looks like the Japanese to me. And it looks like the Romans. I mean, I'm sorry, the English appear to be. This our way. So let's go and see what we can do. we can just run over here. I don't really like this spot, but it's gonna have to do. Kind of gross, but we'll see. Should get monarchy. Yeah. So we got monarchy. Uh, because it was 3400 BC, guys, you got to pay attention to the year. If you plant in, in 3400 BC. And you rush a warrior, it's probably coming, man. This is really not a great city spot, but I kind of had to plant there for positioning reason. And it also moves me a little bit closer to where the other cities, I, I know those cities are over there. Let me take... 
Yeah, for real. I do have whale and monarchy, so. And I could get code of laws. I need to prioritize the uh, Romans and go get those guys and get code of laws. Uh, genocide, not just 3400 AD. That's actually the second window for a walk in. The first window for a walk in is 3700 AD, but you got to get a little lucky and kind of. It's hard. Uh, you got to spawn close to them. And hit a hut or like a natural wonder. The Spanish can hit a natural wonder and get 20 gold. They're the only ones that can do that. And just enough to rush a warrior. So um, all you got to do is plant two tiles away. And rush that warrior. And then in 3600 BC you take you get a walk-in. In this case it's 3300 BC. You get the walk-in. But you have to note that like some sieves mess that up. Like Aztecs start with the gold and Indians sometimes start with rubber or oak. So it messes up the timing sometimes. It's a really... I need to make... That's the next video I need to make is a walk-in video. Because it's so, so handy. I love walk-ins. It's one of those things that's just worth studying and memorizing. For sure. Okay, we're gonna have to get. Um, try to get something with this guy. Oh wait, too early. Not quite yet. Yeah, like China, if they get six trees, yeah. Be nice if I don't lose a warrior. We'll see. Please don't lose two. I hate losing two warriors on that first attack. It's really painful. Okay. Horseback. Is it 3,000? Yeah, they definitely don't take it. I don't think. Ooh, feudalism. So the main problem with this city here is I only have three production instead of four. So that's going to hurt me a little bit. Because of kind of a bad start spot here. But I can still pop out two horsemen, so that's really good. Let me see if I can take this down. Beat him up for me a little bit. And sell this guy. Do host. Is this a name tile right here? Is this named? Oh. Oh, it didn't work. Needed something, man. Oh my, are you serious? Come on. Thank you. 40 gold. That's good. We're going to use that. Absolutely. Oh, did I? Was this a name tile? Oh, come on. Need that juicy. Juicy, juicy natural wonder money. 
<sighs> okay. So I should remind everyone, uh, I actually have family in town this Thursday and Sunday. I have content coming all throughout the week on YouTube. However, I won't be streaming Thursday or Sunday. So, um, but I'll be back next Tuesday. So, just be aware. I know. I'll miss you guys too, man. But you gotta spend time with family. <laughs> huh. Question is, do I go for this? Tough decision, guys. Tough decision. <laughs> My family needs me. They drove here from far away. Oh, my goodness. Let's see. It's tough, but I gotta hit this. I knew that was gonna be gold. <laughs> I do have to say genocide. It's not the same when you're not around. Truly, you are you add quite a lot of uh, energy to the chat environment, without a doubt. <laughs> Need more horses. All right. I can't take the remaining forces with these horses. Oh wait, how many do I have? Can I count? Oh man, I don't have enough. Is that everything? This guy first. Hope I'm not wasting too much time with these huts. Be nervous. Yes! Jackpot! One artifact. Hooray! This is like the 30th game in a row with one artifact. I don't know what's up with that. See? Dude, I cannot count horses. <laughs> I gave it my best in that multiplayer game. I really did. Didn't work out. Didn't work out for me. Worst horse counter ever. What we really need is a great builder. Woo, if we can get Code of Laws and... And... Navigation and Monarchy early? Holy cow, that's insane. Unthinkable. <laughs> you're gonna get you're gonna uh, make a pot for me that's really sweet oh is this the Chinese oh my goodness not the Chinese this guy's built like a million archers in 30 3008 uh, BC
think we'd have to get a little bit lucky here. Like, where are the Japanese? Like, what are they doing? Oh, hills! Oh, that's beautiful. I feel like China is going to be a harder target, so I feel like I should take them now. It's going to be a few extra turns just to get to the back of that city. Oh boy. Is gonna be uh, a little bit crazy. This thing's at five population already. It's ridiculous. Hope nothing bad happens. This guy is nuts. He has so much production. All right. Let's see. Is it? Cannot afford to get injured. <laughs> I know, apparently just sitting in the multiplayer game hitting B was a real crowd pleaser. Nothing to really research, I suppose. A little lucky. Whoa, really? Interesting. See how this goes. Cranking out these archers. Give me blitz, please. Thank you, God. And iron working. Oh, that was amazing. Wow. 
Wow. The city's incredible. I don't think they had literacy yet. I got cheated out of writing. Cheated out of writing. They didn't have literacy yet. They have to get six techs or five techs. So that could be really good because they didn't get that. I should take a few Xboxes, put them in the same game, take out the AI, and skip your turn. <laughs> All right, so the Romans are up here. And I'm teching writing right now. Unfortunately, I didn't get that from the Chinese, but I did get iron working, which isn't a complete loss. A 30 tech instead of a 40 tech. 30 beaker tech. Yeah, tech, jump, tech jumping comes up all the time. And backfilling. Um, that and doing walk-in, capital walk-ins is prob are probably the two more, most requested videos. Alright, let's see here. Dude, this could be a monster production city with these hills, perhaps. No mountains, but... So we may be able to make use of this spy. I don't know. I don't know what the Romans are going to have. It's going to take a long time to get across this map, so I don't know. What's this guy going to do? Oh! <laughs> Zero attack! <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen that. Japanese are up here to the north. I want to take out the Romans. Just because of code of laws. Uh, buy code of laws? I don't really have that kind of money, though. Honestly. Oh, is it dead and up here? You know what? Are the Romans on an island? Damn, Japan. I'm thinking uh, Romans might actually be on an island somewhere. Let's uh, finish this off. Hoping for like infiltration here. boat to figure out what's really going what's really is uh going on over here in their capital too
There they are. So six turns from Code of Laws. I think the Romans are like up here. I know, man, the single player stuff. Don't people like world records anymore? <laughs> uh, I was just kidding. Just kidding. Let's have peace. Everything's fine. Whoa! What the? Serious? Stop. If you rush a unit. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Barb on a, on a hill. If I lose this fight. Oh, thank you. Oh no. This could be it. Oh, so lucky. Trouble, boys. I may not even need this spy. <laughs> Japanese are so damn lazy. They just don't build defense. This guy is clueless. Oh, heard me talking trash. It's likely they have two units in there. A legion and an archer, so let's take them down. Oh, no! Please don't kill me. That is not guaranteed, by the way. Very good odds, but not guaranteed. Guess what, Joe? What's up, Killer B5? playing uh, Zulu, right? Oh boy, that's a lot of tech right here.
Three thousand gold. Holy cow. Eighteen per turn. Yeah. Killing it. This guy has to go. Man, it's a big map. Oh man. So this is going really well, obviously. Already at 7 out of 8, 48 techs because I got a tech from every single sieve that I uh, attacked. I got Monarchy, started with Navigation, got Iron Working from the Chinese, and got Ceremonial Burial here from the Japanese. The We're not going to get a free trading post from the Romans, obviously. We're going to have to research Code of Laws ourselves. Yeah, we can't. We can't get that any other way. So since we got two key technologies early, we're going to see if we can find some... Uh, you know, problem is I don't see any dye, and I don't see any whales. So that's kind of annoying. So that tells me maybe we should look to the islands, perhaps? There's some dye right over there. That's too bad. Oh man, I did not hit my 100 gold milestone yet either. I wish I could sell some techs to the Romans. I haven't even met them yet. One thing I could do is sell these horses, but I may be able to... Simply take out some barb huts, and that might be a little bit better. Civ 6? I uh, haven't really... No, I really haven't. Oh, look. Die. Super important to take advantage of all this die. So let's do that. All right, so I'm going to get 14 overflow. Might, ha might have to hold off. What I need is a hundred gold. How could I get a hundred gold? I could sell that spy, but I kind of don't want to do that. Just because... It could help me move my settlers around and expand a little faster. Looks like this direction's a little juicier anyway, so let's move them up there. Let's make sure. I don't think the Chinese got literacy, but let's make sure. Yeah, perfect. Wow. So there, there's the Romans. 
I got die here and then die here, which is kind of annoying. I'm gonna have to put that on a that city on a separate island. Why is this not an overrun? Why is that not overrun? Can anyone tell me? <sighs> Favorite sandwich meat. Hmm. That's a tough one, man. They're all so delicious. I'm gonna go with uh, pulled pork. My wife makes the best pulled pork ever. pop one out for pretty much free, so I'll do that. Found one. Shame on you, your dirty mind. All right, I see a whale, but that positioning is really cr cruddy. City positioning is so bad. There's really nothing good worth taking advantage of over here on the coastline. Oh. Why can't I just have endless... Actually, there might be something over here which I'm curious about. Turn night bot night night bots on vacation tonight. Oops. Tried the night bot thing for a while, but I didn't really like all the spam to be honest. I didn't really think it was really adding that much to the channel. I don't think it, I think pretty much it was everyone was just ignoring it, like, yeah, we got it, Nightbot, thank you. We'll find you. We'll, if I need you, I'll come finding you, buddy. Not interested. It's a shame there's... Oh, you know why? Because there was a barb hut right here. So that meant there was nothing good around that peninsula. My goodness. So salty about this city. Damn, this place got a ton of production. <laughs> you watch them at work, huh? Shame on you watching videos at work. Hip 
Oh, baby. Look at this city. Maybe that could be my gold city. That'd be a good choice. No whale, though. No whale. Still a pretty little city, though. Still don't have my 100 gold. Not good, not good. This is like the worst whale ever. I can't even... It's like not even worth it. Yeah, I messed this guy up. I should have went up here. That would have been a good spot. Because I can actually use this iron up here. So I'm going to have to waste a turn for this guy. That whale was worthless. When you're trying to expand like this, you really want to leverage hammers. Hammers, hammers, hammers are so important. Hello. Hello there, Romans. They have seek us. <laughs> that city was worthless. That that whale positioning was worthless, in fact. Hey, there's a good whale. We can use that whale. That whale's okay. Alright, see if this guy can actually finish a bug. Seriously, can anyone tell me why this is not an overrun? Is this a bug? Anyone? Uh, great. I am thinking about selling that guy. No, it's 7 to 1 for overrun. That's 9 to 1. So, are the conditions you... I've overrun with injured units. Pretty sure. I don't think they have to be... full strength. I'm about to sell this army anyway. Later, dudes. Sorry. No, it is seven to one. Seven to one. Zulu's four to one. I'm almost positive about that. All right, getting my free settler finally. Pretty happy about that one. Planning there next turn. Whew. This is a nice spot. Yeah, it's 9 to 1. But I've had 3 to 0. 0.5 overrun. I've seen 3 three to 0. 0.5 overrun.
Uda Pre Onum Group. Some more dye right here, so that's gonna be a. It's definitely what you want here in the early expansion phase. Uh, only problem here is I have no trees, so I'm gonna have to completely rely on. on gold to rush from there. That could be a good spot right there. It's only two. Kind of hate these mediocre cities, though. I think it's worth rushing this guy just because of that die right over there. That way we can pop him out next turn. And get this guy out too. Island, island hop time. In fact, I'm just going to go ahead and start getting some money if I can. Does this guy have any money? A little bit. I'm happy to see this. I didn't think you would have this. I'm not giving him that. Yes, I did just sell my horses. No trees over here. I hope there's something juicy over here. Yes! There's die right there. <laughs> yeah, Julius Caesar, you that's the Roman salute, man. That's what they did. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, who else can rush? You can rush. <laughs> that Roman guy. <laughs> Whoever he is, I don't know who that guy is. just don't have a little more gold right now. <laughs> so we got a lot of production focused on popping out settlers right now. Getting a little bit lucky actually with these uh, surprise die uh, resources popping out unexpectedly, like right here. Uda pre Onum group. Will definitely help us out.
Oh yeah, flipping a lot of cities is definitely a lot of fun. What the heck is over here? I don't even know what's over here. Time to get some map knowledge. So there's a fish. Don't really, his resources aren't really so hot, so. Hate to blow money on settlers unless it's a city worth building. Oh yeah. Die is. This is what die is right here. That's die. <laughs> yeah, oak is super good too. For a long time, I think I underrated. I think I underrated oak for a long time, but they're actually yeah, oak is awesome. Yeah, oxen are really good for considering how early you get them. I'm really hoping a whale or spy or a dies right here. I don't quite see it yet. So that's where we started up here. Maybe some resources over here I can get my hands on. Perhaps. Guess that's about as much as we can do this turn. 900 BC. Are we doing well? I think so. Rusty naval battles before cruisers are wildly unpredictable. Yeah, like galleys and galleons and all that. One more city right here to take advantage of that whale. And let's keep this guy rolling. Oh. Oh. There's a double die spot. You know, it may actually be better to spread the... No. 
Let's not spread it. Let's look. Okay. I do wonder about the legitimacy of rushing a library in these double die cities. <laughs> yeah, we run around. We run, we run out of city city uh, names quite a lot. That happens quite a bit on the, on this channel. I think we'll make one more city there. Ah, awesome! More die. Uda pre key rain. So that's pretty lucky. Actually, I'm picking up quite a bit of die here, so that's a good sign. Wow. Getting close to his currency in one turn already. So that's pretty good. Uh, I've had it in the 60s, I think. I think that's the most cities I had. To that later. Probably shouldn't have been messing with that cattle quite yet. That guy's gonna take my wheel. Not cool. text right now. I'm wondering if that's a tech cut right now. And we're about to finish currency. I have a feeling that's a tech cut. But 
but I'm gonna get one naturally in like seven turns. Oh, don't play that song. Get a copyright violation. <laughs> the heck? Get an archer out there. Create some interference with these Romans ro rolling around. Let's see, what else could I put one over here? That would be an okay city. Three. No. Eh, it would be okay, but it's so darn far. There's not really a lot I can do about that. This guy is not going to research pottery. I want to backfill it. Construction, engineering. <sighs> Stupid game. I mean, what do I even research in this situation? I don't want religion. Banking, I'd rather get later for free. Invention. I don't want that right now. I want to hit my cultural bonus naturally. Let's research pottery. Indeed. One thing I gotta watch out for is... What is this clown doing? Get away from me. Oh! All these huts. Yeah. I oh, would get a lot of overflow by getting pottery. More than from a catapult. Catapult will give me what? 25? 20? Wow, a double feudalism island. Oh man, that would actually be pretty awesome once I get feudalism. Where's my market city? Here it is. Look at that. What? What? Nice. It's a lot of gold. See that, boys? 140. Were any of these checked? Man, I drained this city. Aha! I knew there was something over here. There's another hut over there.
by the way, I'm going to make a video about... I'm actually pretty excited about this. I'm going to make a video about a new trick. One new weird trick that I learned. I know a new one weird trick. Oh no. And it's something I've been complaining about lately. And I figured out how to avoid... Auto... auto uh, you know how your turn skips automatically sometimes? Like if you do a walk-in or if you hit a, a villager hut. That's when I always have it happen to me. And you only have like one unit. Well. I have discovered the one weird trick that avoids that. It's so weird. It is a weird trick. That doesn't always work. You can try to hammer left trigger. You can you can try, but it doesn't always work. It is not 100%. It's going to blow your mind when I reveal my ancient secret. It will blow your mind. That's right. Sid Meier will hate it. <laughs> oh boy. All right, I'll, I'll just tell you guys now since you're here. So, the way it works is, so say you're about to take the walk-in and it's about to end your turn, you only have one warrior. What you do is you hit A to attack the city, and then before you hit walk until you know before the menu actually pops up on your screen, you hit so you hit A and then you hit left bumper before you get that menu popping up. So it's still accepting input at that point, and you're buffering in a left bumper input before the menu pops up. If you try to do it after, there's no guarantee you're getting it in there because there's some tiny window that you might be able to pop it in there, but, um, you probably, it's not a guarantee, so, but if you buffer it beforehand, it is a guarantee. Alright, 50 gold coming my way. Uh, basically it prompts a, uh, end turn button instead. Man, that's a lot of gold. Should have saved it. out of there Should have waited on that hut, that was stupid. <laughs> Mongols, get rid of that barbarian bonus and give them, uh, give them. Give him something like two food from hills.
we're going to have a lot of tech after this. So I need a settler, but I don't want it from there. <laughs> so that's a problem. Maybe I just end up... Maybe I just drive this boat down. And have a galleon help out instead. How much is that going to cost me? Like 150? I think if you rush a unit, it should auto-focus on that unit instead of camera pulling you to some other unit that you don't really care about. What are you doing, man? I feel like this guy has done enough settler production. Let's make a boat. Yeah, there's no way. Horseback riding in the early game? And no way. Just give them food from hills or something like that. Two food. It's a lot to spend on a boat, but we need a boat. ton of huts out here. This could be spicy. This could be really spicy. If these give me tech. Woo wee! that 50% gold nonsense now. If 
if we can get engineering in one turn. Ooh, no. We need math, I suppose. That's too much. Damn. I guess we gotta get it. Just have him chill for now. Actually, these islands aren't so hot because there's nothing around them. Oh, I think that was dumb. Too late to fix it, though. Should have got engineering. Follow follow him. <laughs> so close to that die up there. This peninsula looks nice. Some whales. Hip walk. rain. The heck is going on over here? Those settlers ran away. advantage of that wine down there so we're getting engineering in one turn that's not too bad I should have boy that was dumb should have uh, hit, hit the engineering <laughs> set it to engineering then got ahead I think that would have been better
show. Follow follow. I don't know what the Romans are doing. How much does a settler cost? <laughs> Some crazy amount. Peeking around for Atlantis, I don't see it right now. What the heck? They took that settler and just ran away. There we go again. Hey, Sammy. Welcome to the stream, man. Trying... Struggling through this 50% gold Spanish thing. Makes it difficult to pump out settlers. Yes, we are. Holy cow. That is a nice peninsula. Let's go take advantage of that. Anyone else? Man. Settlers get so expensive for the Spanish. Not really too sure what to do about that. text do I have? 17? Yeah. It's time to get democracy. Still haven't got my first great person. It's taken a while. Switch over to democracy oh, now, wow. and let's see what can we get. Oh, let's take a look at this tree. Steam, perhaps? No, we need to try not to get invention right now. to research it. It's like I have to expand. It's like I have to research banking almost. Go! 
Nice. It's 120 gold. Whew. That is a lot. on my two turns I get my culture natural culture milestone screw it let's get masonry that'll give me banking without researching it and a ton of gold overflow and I'd be able to excuse me be able to expand right here I'm trying to remember, if I hit my natural culture milestone next turn, and I finish invention next turn, that should be fine, right? Because invention triggers the turn after. Oh, Just got banking. Does anyone know 100% for sure? Like, I think I'm right, but I want to. I don't want to be wrong about that. Daisies. Not follow follow. Just got industrialization from a hut. So that's seems to be stuck in that pattern. I'm okay with that. Let's keep it that way. You pretty much need that in order to get a great time anyway. Oh wait, I meant. Oh. So hard to get that culture there before democracy is researched. Totally forgot about that. Do I have any way to deal with this? I don't think I do. That is ridiculous. I don't think I have any uh, silk or anything to push me. Oh boy. It's down here, but the city can't use it. Build. Yeah, good night, Krasabi. Thanks for joining tonight, man. Oh, man. This is a... Uh, I always do this. I always forget that switching to democracy 
flattens that bonus from culture. There's no arc in this game. <laughs> Russia Tempo. <laughs> it's totally worth it. Dude, I'm so salty about that that I might. I'm gonna rush a temple. <laughs> you know how, much, you know how expensive those things are? 240 gold. But what if it got me a builder? It's so worth it. Where's that workshop? Notes around here somewhere. Look at that, 228 gold. That is so stupid. Could finish religion, actually. <laughs> that makes me a little less salty. Yeah, I get the culture boost from that. Oh my goodness, are you serious? I have too much gold, I can't even stop it. Ugh. Key Rain Wilnum Group. I feel like it's much harder to keep the momentum going with the Spanish just because of that rush cost but I guess there maybe it doesn't matter once you get industrialization because you're getting so much gold <laughs> it is sick One whale over here. But I don't really. It's like such a far run. It's like not worth it.
I'm gonna hit a thousand gold from this. Am I pretty much done with land-based expansion? I think I am. I don't really see any cities that are driving me wild over there. I'm going to put one here. Oh, darn it. This guy can finish corporation for us. Surprised the Romans haven't got a great person to settle. Hmm. Let's see. So 1730 economic victory is the top top time I have. Nothing really documented for culture or tech. So we can either go tech or culture or even economic. I kind of feel like culture or tech just because there's no time for those at all. The city's cool. Welcome to the team. It's old. So we got plus, plus production from hills now. Um. Once again, I did not really set up a good production city anywhere. I'm just too busy pumping out science. And I always regret it. Where are you, Atlantis? I know you're out there. Yeah. If you don't get the builder, you gotta build East India. I think once you get three... It's just kind of a pain. You got to do it somehow. You really need a city that can at least pop out one wonder for you. If not, then you end up with this problem. What are you doing, Rome? You're just sitting there. And we're going to get plus one population, all city. This turn. Over right. Yeah, don't need that. Uh, 
Man, that's so expensive. Pays for itself in nine turns, theoretically. Time for three useless techs. Awesome. It's a lot easier to find this early. It's a lot better. At least I got a, a cruiser, though. Ooh, railroad, nice. Why didn't it give me printing press? That was surprising. Did you see that? I didn't expect to get steam power. Usually it gives you the first three that you don't have. Like, why didn't I get metallurgy or printing press? It gave me railroad and steam power. That's interesting. So, did it trigger what I got based on what I was researching because I already had some steam power. Did you see that? What happened? So it gave me steam power and then like what was above that. Like that was actually beneficial for me because I didn't want metallurgy or printing press necessarily, necessarily but it gave me a steam and then gave me railroad above that. So... That's curious. <laughs> yeah, okay. Doubt.png. All right, where's my... I gotta pop out a cruiser. Oh, got the oh, I should have popped him in there. I didn't know I had another one. Forgot about that. Damn it. Nothing that way, so definitely going this way. to redo all these tiles as well because I got plus one all right good night I'll fight your dad glad you could join us dude what am I doing I'm like drunk I didn't even put this guy on the boat <laughs> uh. 
I don't know about that. No. Whew, let's see. My tech is kind of stanky right now. I need way more. It's kind of hurting me. I don't have the East India Company. Hey! A cultural? What's up, Bjorn Bullock? Haven't seen you in a little bit. Hey, by the way, guys, do you know... You know how you set it to gold like this and it drops your production to zero? And then you're like your tiles don't even update. You know how it does this? Like when does that start actually happening? Is that like a modern era thing or do you need an industrialization? Or is there like a certain tech that triggers this behavior? Because I don't know what causes that. See this? Like what allows you to do that so that you get zero production? I don't know when that starts happening. Wow. Is it 24? Is it a modern era thing? Search this in one turn. What is wrong with me? It's good to know. I always wondered about that. Oh, uh, okay. Huh. Got a boat out there. Oops, put that back. Hmm. 
All right. 327. Man, that's expensive. <laughs> Should give a nice boost. Go for it. His path to victory is domination. It didn't used to be like this though, right here. Yeah, I've been pretty reliably like wiping out the AI. Which is kind of surprising. I, I was expecting more archer armies by that time. Like at least two of them would stay in. But I've been wiping out three of them for a while. Yeah, I hear you on that. Whew. 309 a turn. doesn't happen too often. Name C tiles. Kind of looking for huts down here. I don't see any though. My luck ran out. Which gold are we getting here? Maybe should have saved that for EIC first. start actually switching some of these over to gold instead. A couple of libraries is okay, but I might switch it over to a market. Oh no. We can get East India Company at least.
Ball em, ball em. <laughs> Cute. Win em. <laughs> Own em. Yeah, the fortress technique works really well against them. They don't really know what to do about that. <laughs> you just kind of give up. <laughs> Even a solitary warrior fortress, they're just like, uh... Yeah, we're just gonna do nothing about that. Oops. Well, it doesn't matter. Whoa! Didn't pay attention to resources. Oh man, resources. Very important. Did you guys play the desktop civilization games? Or, or was this pretty much your first Civ game? <laughs> 40. Uh, I don't think this is strong enough for a tech victory, so. Just kind of looking around for huts. Wow. It's not a bad little spot. Uda Pri. Hooey. Is it? Yeah, I kind of felt that way about Civ 6 a little bit. Not that I dislike it or anything. It's just like... It just seems like a bit much. Like, there's a point where it, things just become too complicated. And it just doesn't seem <laughs> like it's even... It just feels like it becomes making a lot of decisions that don't aren't really meaningful. So, that's kind of how it felt to me. Uh, electronics would be pretty good. So would mass media. <laughs> uh. <laughs> if I just find enough huts, I can get a good victory. Aha! Internet would be really nice, but that thing is expensive. Woo wee! It is expensive. Seems like it'd be a little bit better just to get mass media. No! Stop playing that music. We're gonna get banned from YouTube.
I feel like food is a little bit too worthless in this game. It just takes too long to grow cities, I think. Man, that is so much gold. I feel like a tech victory is really tough for the for the Spanish. It's just so much gold. How do you say no to that? Trade fair, oh, sure. No. Still waiting on that East India Company? It's been the longest turn. I feel like the food culture aspect of this game is a little too underpowered. die over there but it's like overlapping with this entire city so I'm just gonna slap it right here okay, right. I don't think I got quite as many cities in this one. Let's see how many we got here. As soon as my turns are done. Only 26 cities this time. I found it very difficult to grow with them. Oh, 
Bonum grew. <laughs> about another wonder. Once I get trade fair there, it's going to be some pretty crazy gold. I think we've explored just about everything. Yeah. I think we can get a sub 1000 time here. So not the best time, but we'll get a good time, I believe. I uh, really appreciate a great builder here, if possible. Romans never gave me a single great person to steal or anything like that. That's kind of a bummer. Still nothing from Rome. Oh, the Sultan. I don't want a Sultan. Settle this guy. And sell this worth. Oh, did I sell the horse? Good. Completed trade fair. So, popping out some wonders here. Let's see what my culture score actually is at this point. Mass production. Why do you love the Romans? What is it about Romans? People go seem to go crazy for them. Hmm. 
Yeah, here I like when a sieve has a really unique flavor. I feel like they could have taken that even farther and uh, made all the sieves even more different. Like, I like the Egyptian desert tile thing. I think that is a, a, a really good idea. They should have expanded on it a little bit more. Like, um, I always thought maybe give uh, something from hills or something from like food from hills I always thought would be a kind of neat idea. Just basically expand upon that same idea. Or different or even, you know what I thought would be a cool idea, is like attack bonuses from certain kinds of terrain. So say you'd have like plus one attack from a hit, um, from a forest or something like that. That would be kind of cool. But they never did anything that did defense or attack from certain types of tiles. I don't think it's even worth rushing because you get so much gold. Holy cow. Aztec warriors? No. Well, everyone gets defense bonus from forest. Everyone gets defense bonus there. out of this city. <laughs> Want some Stonehenge? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, now they're getting froggy. Terrible city. That's okay. Get rid of those guys. Build the Great Wall. Settled yet another guy. Yeah, I know. 
4,200 gold per turn. Are there like even any mountains? I mean, I guess I should have built... I could have built a production city like here. <laughs> yeah, that's without the internet. Hip hua, onum grow. Oh, the soul. Follow, follow. Uh, it's the Spanish gold bonus, I suppose, which is kind of crazy. cities. It's a hell of a lot of gold. I can see the thumbnail already. 5,000 gold per turn? You won't believe it. You won't believe how much gold per turn. Sid Meier hates how much gold I get per turn. <laughs> There's no oak trees in this game, are there? Sure, don't see them. Here, buddy. You're going to be my ad hoc production city. Whew. Get out of here. Oh, hip hop. Ah, ho. The 50% gold bonus like throws me off. Makes this a lot more confusing. Oh, but so key red. Only swallow, follow, a klepto ball. So expensive. <laughs> oh.
Well... Don't need that, or that. Could get another wonder from that. Getting pretty close. Still nothing here. <laughs> Five Tipu Sultans. What the heck? Why is it so blurry? What's that? Onam grew. Indeed. I feel like this game really wanted me to go for an economic victory here. Didn't work out. Really the problem here is just did not pick a victory type soon enough. enough of the World Bank, but it's like... Could complete that in six turns. Get her with it. <sighs> Still need two more milestones. Yeah, I definitely do not like this 50% gold bonus. I feel like it really messed me up my normal expansion and everything. But the amount of gold I had is ridiculous, so I guess it just requires some kind of different strategy. So I think you'd want to like set up a really nice production city. Get that prepped. Maybe make a wonder with it and then prep it for getting a great uh, building the World Bank or whatever. I think that's something I just really need to do every game. Just have at least one city that's pumping out a ton. Ton of production. <laughs> the little uh, things that they say. Good.
Yeah, it seems to bite me quite a bit. So I don't actually want this kind of victory. So, yeah. Ah! Nang no. Well, of course, we have to change our government. Oh, man. Oh, it's worth it. Come on. Got that great person in there, though. Look at that thing. Yes, I do. Coffee. I'm more of a coffee drinker than anything, man. I really don't drink that much. More of a coffee guy. Oh, there goes that great person. Holy cow, he got destroyed. It was worth it. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Yeah, it looks like it. <laughs> I think I like butter, bitter stuff because I like dark chocolate and I like coffee, so. And I like them together even more. Dude, why are these so blurry? Like, look how blurry this apple sign is. What's going on with that? It's kind of weird. one. Nice start, though. Completely blew the ending. I think this whole thing is the 50% thing. Just gotta really pay attention to that.
Yeah, I've been hoping they release that. A new Civ Rev, is that what you mean? I just want to see how much tech we can get here. Ah, ah, ah. 9,958 per turn. Okay. 10,000. Guys, done yet? I had, a, I had a feeling that was going to take a while once I saw that I didn't have nearly... I had so few culture milestones quite late in the game. Really, that, that game was sending me down the path of economic, but I didn't want economic because I've already done that one. So, lesson learned. I'm going to have to adjust when I get that 50% gold bonus and work that out. Work out a strategy that works better in that case. I figure anyone that gets 50% gold bonus, it's going to be tough to get really great tech times. Right? I think it would. Ha <laughs> ha! The nuke dropped him down almost nothing. Oof. All right. Well, I showed them. Where'd the music go? That's weird. That music is gone. That's very strange. Anyhow. So, uh, kind of a crummy time with the Spanish tonight. Good start. Terrible finish. So. Yeah, getting the right great people makes a huge difference. Yeah. Uh, I'll see you guys next week. Again, I won't be uh, streaming Thursday or Sunday, so. But I will be uploading to YouTube, so there'll be some content up there. Try to keep it interesting. So uh, that's it. If you guys uh, hang around, I'll have you. Uh, let me host you guys somewhere. I'll host you over here. You want to see some Diablo? There you go. Post you guys over here. And uh, we can chill out here and chat for a bit. And uh, I'll see you guys next week.
Good night, guys.